When you're deciding how to spend your marketing budget, you want to focus on some of your best customers. Customers who will stay with you for the long term, who will continue to generate revenue for the company longer than, say, a customer who finds a cheaper deal somewhere else and leaves your website. In other words, you want to identify your high value customer so that you can focus on bringing in more of these customers. Think of it this way. Your goal is for every dollar you spend on your marketing efforts to give you a higher rate of return and generate revenue multiple times over. How do you go about doing that? You use a business metric called lifetime value of a customer. To calculate lifetime value, let's cover a few key concepts. Again, make sure you make a note of the terminology and definitions. They're going to get slightly complicated but we will walk through each of them one by one. So keep in mind, we want to be able to estimate how much revenue we can expect to earn per customer as far into the future as we can. To calculate this, we need to take into account a lot of different metrics and data to create a single LTV metric. First, purchase cycle is a time period that depicts the general frequency with which your products are purchased. At Udacity, if we start a new nanodegree class every two weeks, two weeks would be the purchase cycle. Total sale revenue per cycle is a revenue earned from all customers per purchase cycle. Number of sales per purchase cycle is the number of times your average customer buys during the purchase cycle. Cost per acquisition. You've seen this before. It's the total cost of marketing and sales divided by the number of new leads. With me thus far, feel free to pause the video or rewind, review, and think about what I've said thus far. Next, we have expectation retention time. This is the amount of time you expect to retain the customer. This is measured in terms of purchase cycles, what we covered right at the top of this list. So if we expect a customer to be retained for a year, given a two week purchase cycle, then we have an ERT of about 26. Average sales revenue is the revenue you earn from the average customer per transaction during the cycle. This is the total customer revenue divided by the number of purchases in the cycle. Profit margin per customer is the percentage of sales that has turned into profits. Again, feel free to pause the video here and process what I've covered thus far. Next, we have one last thing to do. Calculate the lifetime value. Lifetime value is the average sale times the number of repeated sales times the expected retention time times profit margin. Essentially, this is the net profit you can attribute to the customer over the length of their relationship with the company. Let's do this in Excel in the next video.